Hi, it's Christina for the Platinum Zipper. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to choose a dress for your court um, or your damas. A lot of times we don't really think it through and it makes it very, very difficult for us to make a final choice. So we're going to look at different ways that you can um, sort of narrow down and make the process a little bit smoother. First of all, what you want to take into consideration is the size. You want to make a list of all of the girls that are participating in your kingse and write down their size from smallest to largest. A lot of times, the smallest person and the largest person will sort of dictate the style or fit of the dress that you're going to choose. In particular, this dress that we have here is probably for somebody who has a slender build. So if you have a bunch of girls that are on your court that might be a little bit more fuller figured, this would not be an ideal dress. If you tend to have girls on your court that are tiny, this particular rouging would be very flattering for them. It's a slim uh, fit all the way down, and so it's going to be a little bit harmonious for their body type. So let's take a look at some other ways and how you can choose a damas dress. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, timing. It's very important for you to give yourself enough time uh, to order the dresses for your court. People forget that sometimes it takes a long time to bring in all of your girls and have them fitted, and then in turn, it sets you a little bit behind when you're ordering your dress. A lot of times you can get dresses in as short as a week, but most of the time when you're ordering a large amount of dresses, the designers don't have all of the, uh, the quantities that you need, and that might put you back a couple of weeks. Uh, thirdly, a lot of people actually forget that you need to give yourself enough time to order um, a dress because you need alteration time. For this particular style that we've selected here, if you take a look at the back, it's actually a corset. This is fantastic if you're working um, under pressure to get a dress in for your girls and then having to have it fit. Uh, because the back of it is corset, um, you can just uh, pull the string as tight as you'd like in the back, achieve the shape that you like, and then therefore you're going to go ahead and save money on your alterations. So these are things that you need to consider uh, when ordering dresses. Uh, time is very, very important and sometimes if you don't give yourself enough time, you get really, really stressed out. Next, we're going to talk about budget. It's very important that you consider your budget uh, when choosing a dress. A lot of times when you ask people to be a part of your court, uh, you need to sort of consider what they would um, be able to afford. But if you come to the Platinum Zipper, I'm always willing to work with you on your needs. And just because you don't have a large budget doesn't mean that you're going to sacrifice quality. This particular dress that we have here is actually uh, just under $100, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's got beadwork with the sequins um, up here as well. Uh, you're going to have a rouged waistline with a little rosette and actually tulle that's in two different tones. This particular dress comes in at least six different colors, so it's absolutely fantastic um, when you're uh, sort of narrowing down your choice uh, because it does uh, come in uh, several color options. So go ahead and consider what your budget might be and what you would be willing to ask your girls uh, to pay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, choosing your color. A lot of times when you're selecting a color, you focus a little bit too much on the tone, but don't be afraid to go with a white dress and sort of incorporate the color that you're going to have for your quinceanera dress. For this particular dress, what we've done is we've actually created a tulle rosette behind the brooch that was on the gown, and this allowed us to harmonize the color that you're looking for your quince, but also keep a couple things in mind. Uh, before we talked a little bit about uh, the fit of the dress, for this particular dress, it's um, actually a dress that can work on two different body styles, believe it or not. The bottom half is very flattering, and it'll allow for a person that might be a little bit fuller on the bottom. What's so great about the top is this particular top is called a crumb catcher. Um, it's got like a pleated top, and because it does not come in uh, like a sweetheart neckline, it's not going to allow for you to maybe show too much bust. And then on the reverse end of that, if you are not a busty person and you uh, sort of get it altered or just put some cups inside, you're not going to really notice a difference. So this particular dress is both great for the color and also for fit. Lastly, let's talk a little bit about theme. 
When you finally selected your dress, let's go ahead and match your theme with the dress that you've selected. Here are a couple things that you can choose to kind of bring style and also um, punch that theme that you've selected for your quinceanera. Uh, this particular dress has lace on the top, so what you can actually do is go with a little vintage lace glove that's absolutely fantastic. Another thing that you might be able to do if you're a contemporary quinceanera, there are these little mini um, top hats that are absolutely fantastic if you have a Cirque theme or even like a Mad Hatter party. This would be wonderful for that. Um, one of my absolute favorites that seems to be very popular is actually a masquerade theme. This particular uh, mask that we have here, we went ahead and just added some embellishments to kind of um, match the gown that we've selected. Um, you can put some rhinestones or feathers, um, add some lace, which again brings us back to the detailing on the, on the dress, which is great. And then lastly, a classic long um, black glove. Now these come in about four different lengths, so um, try to think about that um, when you're choosing a glove um, for um, the dress. This particular one comes up to the elbow. There's a little one um, that goes um, just to the wrist and one just over the elbow. So just think about those things when you're choosing your dress. And uh, finally, just stop by the Platinum Zipper and we would love to help you find the perfect Damas dress.